We are going to create 3D slide. Right inside DaVinci Resolve, you may have seen this before, but in After Effects. Creating this in DaVinci is not easy. But stick with this tutorial, you'll do it. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new Fusion clip. Once you've opened Fusion, add your first clip. Assuming you've already cut all the clips according to the music, select the clip and add an image plane 3D node. Next, add a Merge 3D node. Now, add a Render 3D node. Connect the output of Render 3D to the Media Out node. After arranging the nodes properly, add your second clip, add another Image Plane 3D node and connect its output to the Merge 3D. Repeat this process for each additional clip you have, then click on each clip and enable loop. Select the second Image Plane 3D node. Go to the Inspector window and adjust the Z translation value to minus 3. For the third one, change its Z translation to minus 6. Repeat this pattern for each clip. This adjustment helps in positioning the clips correctly within the 3D space. Let's add a camera. Connect its output to the Merge 3D node. Click on the camera node then adjust its Z translation value to 1.6 in the inspector window. Enable two viewers. On the right will be our final output and on the left merge 3D so that we can adjust all the nodes. Let's position all the clips in the 3D space. Click on the first image plane 3D node. Go to the material tab and decrease its opacity to make it transparent, allowing us to see the other clips. Now select the second image plane 3D node and position it on the top right. Increase its size slightly, around two should be sufficient. then adjust its Z rotation to 15 degrees. Moving on to the third image plane 3D node, increase its size to around three. Position it on the top left. Change the opacity of the first image plane 3D back to normal. Let's refine the camera animation for a smooth transition. First, select the camera node and add a 3D transform node. Then add another 3D transform node. Click on the first 3D transform node, then navigate to around frame 10. Add keyframes for XYZ translation and Z rotation. Proceed to frame 30 and change the Z translation to minus 3, ensuring the camera moves straight to the second clip. Adjust the rotation to 15 degrees. Next, fine-tune the translation to ensure proper visibility. Raise the Y position slightly to achieve a cutout look as the camera moves through the first clip. Let's preview it for a sec. It looks good, but let me adjust the clip a little. Navigate to the spline editor and enable the visibility of the curves. Select all the relevant curves together and press S on the keyboard. Next, press T to set the tangents to smooth. Click on the lock icon and adjust the value to around 70. This adjustment helps in smoothing out the animation, ensuring a more natural and fluid camera movement. Let's refine the animation further. At around frame 25, select the second 3D transform node and add keyframes for the same values as the first one. Proceed to frame 45 and adjust the XYZ translation. Increasing the Y value will enhance the cutout effect as the camera passes through the second clip. Change the Z rotation to minus 15 and the Z translation value to around minus 2. Fine-tune these values until you achieve a smooth transition. Now return to the spline tab and repeat the previous steps to ensure smooth animation curves for this segment as well. I did some adjustments to the XYZ translation of the Transform 3D and Image Plane 3D nodes linked to the clip. Let's take a look at the results of these modifications. Finally, let's enhance the rendering quality. Click on the Render 3D node, then go to the settings. Enable Motion Blur for smoother motion rendering. Increase the quality settings to 10 to ensure high quality output. Here are the final results. If you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to check out my other videos and give them a like. Don't forget to share them with your friends if you think they could benefit from them too. Thank you for watching.